Still miss nine-year-old Kingston Dom Corn from Manhattan, the winner of the 2024 SNY Kidcaster Contest presented by HSS as he joins us in the broadcast booth tonight during the fourth inning right here on SNY. Always look forward to the Kidcaster. They've become so polished over the years. Here's the Honda Men's starting lineup. Fourth inning, Natalie Rutschman leads off for the Orioles, and joining us in the booth is Kingston Nam Korn, who was our kid caster for 2024. Congratulations, Kingston. Thank you. So how did you get here? Um, well, I really got started into um, um, announcers when I was like six or seven, and I was like, who's talking in the booth? <laughs> who are those magical voices? <laughs> See, We're calling the game. You know how to butter people up. So how old are you now? Uh, I'm nine. And so have you been working on this for a while? Yes. Well, last year I tried, but I figured I was, I, I was too young. I was eight, not nine. So. <laughs> Marte comes over to get the fly ball from Rushman for the first out. So do you uh, play baseball in addition to your broadcasting skills? Yeah. Uh, I play for the West Side Little League Mustangs. And I have a tournament team called the West Side Little League Hawks. Wow. What, what's your position, Kingston? Um, I play third base and outfield for my um, um, tournament team yeah. and for my West Side Little League Mustangs, my Saturday league team. I um, I play I play like pitcher, third base, shortstop, and second base. Favorite position? Third base. Third. You like the hot corner, those hot smashes yeah. at you? Yeah. And uh, how's uh, how's your hitting coming along? It's been pretty good. I mean, I I I I'm not really a power hitter. I hit like I, I I don't I hit like ground balls that hit the dirt first and then go into the outfield. If they go to the outfield, usually it's just a ground ball and I beat it out. Are you fast? You have great speed. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I can't teach that. Do they do they have stolen bases at your level or not yeah, yet? Yeah. Stolen bases. Yeah. Okay. You. you. Yeah, I'm very aggressive on the bases. Yes, I steal a lot of bases. <laughs> my tournament team, you can steal as much as you want. In my uh, my, my West Side Little League team, you you can steal once per batter. Oh, so but then you can't take a lead though, right? You got to be on the base until the catcher catches the ball. Um, for my Mustangs team, for my little uh, for my tournament team, you can take like a tiny lead. Oh, really? Yes. They didn't let us do that when I was in the Little League. Henderson called out on a strike for the second. Now, now I see you've got the uh, the blue jacket, the blue shirt, and the orange tie. Was that was that a, a conscious effort to wear Mets colors? No, I mean I just found this and it fit the best, so like I, I wore that. And then my parents bought me this yesterday, or two days ago, and and yeah, it matched. So. Now, we're going to have you do play-by-play -play when the Mets come up at the bottom of the fourth. Have uh, you been practicing to get ready for this? Uh, yeah, I usually, um, at home, I turn down the TV when I'm watching a Mets game. <laughs> so does and then, and, then, and, then, and then I um, announce it, play-by-play. Mm -hmm. -play. And then also for my video game, MLB The Show 24, I turn down the sound on that, too. I see. Now, when you do the play-by-play -play of the video game, are you controlling the action as you're as you're yeah. controlling the game? Yeah. So like I kind of know what's going on. <laughs> That's good. It's a lot easier that way. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't have that for you here, but I'm sure you'll do a great job. It's behind the bag. It's a fair ball. Vientos can't make the play, and Sansan dare is safe at first base. That'll be an infield hit for Sansan dare. Now let's take a peek here. Right over the bag. Good call, fair ball, definitely. Hunter Wendell the third base up by So where do you go to school, Kingston? I go to school at uh, in, in the Calhoun School in New York. Right, and do your friends at, at school know that you're doing this tonight? Uh, only the ones who are baseball fans. But my my uh, best friend, Evan, who um, is on my Little League Mustangs team. He's like my best friend. I, I think he's watching today. He's wow. getting to stay up late today. Well, that's good. Hi. Right. So, are you are you telling me that this would be past your bedtime if you weren't here tonight? Um, I think. 
Depends what time it is. I well, don't it's uh, it's eight oh seven right now. Eight oh seven. I'd be going to bed in like um uh, at like eight thirty. So like a little like twenty minutes from now. Gotcha. So when you do your play by play, you're doing the early innings of the game. That's yeah. moved into left center field. The base hit from Mount Castle. And Santander pulls it at second, so the Orioles have something going with two out of the fourth. So, so you do your uh, homework before the game? Um, well, it's actually nice. I don't really have that much homework. What? Well, I mean, like, I do it mostly at school. I do a lot more work at school. So, like, I do, like, a lot of work at school. So also, I, Keith, I, Keith, it's the summertime. He doesn't have school right now. Well, I, I some, besides the point. I, I, I have some things that my teacher wants me to like do, like to, for me to catch up when I was sick and stuff. So I, I do that a little bit. I understand you also have a budding musical career. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I sing for the Metropolitan Opera Children's Chorus. Wow, that's I mean, outstanding. Yeah. And you're up in the booth with us? I mean, that's amazing. I mean, I mean you, you've you already out-accomplished all three of us. <laughs> that's great. You play an instrument? Uh, I play the violin. I mean, I mean, the Met is, the Met is very, um, uh, very, um, like, hard to, like, do anything else with. Um, last year, it conflicted with, um, my baseball, so we had to do both and both. Um, yeah, and then, th and then I haven't been really able to do violin practice because, um, of, because of the Met. Sounds like you're a very busy young man. So with two to Aloy Jimenez, and he fouls one off. Um, do you aspire to be an opera singer? Mm, no, not really. I just, I just, um, my parents took me to it. I didn't even want to go. So, like, I didn't even know what was happening and stuff. So they made you go? Yeah. They, they, they force it on you. Not, not really. I'm not kind of. Kind of like Juan in baseball, Keith. Yeah. That's a throw at the hole. Smothered by Vientos. And he gets the fourth play. Beautifully done by Vientos. And it keeps the Orioles off the board in the fourth. When we come back, Kingston Don Bram will be, Matt Court will be doing play-by-play. Stuck on the train, no problem. Amazing lives wherever you are with the SNY app presented by Fanatic Sportsbook. Scan the code and download today. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Mets with a 2 0 lead. And for your listening pleasure on play by play, nine year old Kingston Nam Corn. Go ahead, Kingston. Okay, and here's the kid from Trevor Rogers. It is smacked on the ground, foul to the left side by Peter Alonso. Peter Alonso is 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Oh yeah, he did break his bat. He did. Peter Alonso has 27 home runs this year. Uh, most on the Mets. Rogers has 46 pitches this inning. Alonso is 0 for 1 with a ground out today. Pete Alonso getting ready in the batter's box. Trevor Rogers stares at Alonso and here's the pitch. It is smacked way back and foul. Rogers has been using his fastball a little better in this uh, last couple of innings. Yeah. Um, here's the 0-2 to Pete Alonso and that's outside and the count is one and two. That was a change up at 83 miles per hour. Thanks. There's the one two and Alonso smacks that one and it is down for a base hit. It goes to the wall. Pete Alonso is trying for two. He'll make it in there standing and it is a lead off double in the bottom of the fourth. All right, here it is. It's like a change-up, Kingston, and yep. Pete reaches out and gets it, and he's so strong, and I'm just driving that ball into the left center. He's so yeah. strong, he can drive it all the way to the left center, and it goes to the wall. And exactly. like that, he's got himself a double. And here's Starling Marte, who got himself a single earlier in this game, and he had a stolen base, too. 
So Mirage's 50th pitch coming, and that's outside the ball. Sterling Marte was on the IL for a long time. He came back yesterday. Here's the pitch to Marte. He swings and he waves at a changeup at 84 out of the zone. Trevor Rogers making his 52nd pitch. And it's the 1-1 to Marte. And he bunts. It's all he knocks it down. The throw to first, and he just got Charlie Marte, but he moves up Alonso to third, and it's just going to be a sacrifice bunt for Alonso. Oh, uh, for Charlie Marte. Yeah, right. He just fumbled that enough, but was able to get to it, and almost made an errant throw. Nice play by Malcastle at first. Oh, Mets could have used that bunt in the ninth inning yesterday. Oh, yeah, they could have. Oh. And here's Jose Iglesias speaking about the game yesterday. He beat out two ground balls yesterday in the game against the Miami Marlins. And here's the pitch. It's high for a called strike. Iglesias is 0 for 1 with a ground out today. Is a 340 average, three home runs, and 20 RBIs this year. Here's the 54th pitch, and it almost hits Iglesias. And the count is now one and one. Um, Rogers, this is going to be his 55th pitch, and it's coming in the fourth inning, bottom of the fourth, and it skips off the dirt, and it's a ball, two and one. I see the Orioles brought the infield halfway in at the corner. Well, not even really there, halfway all across. Yeah. Might be because of Pete's speed. Yeah, he's not too fast, but yeah. He's faster than a real pole bear. Unless <laughs> 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 he was running down the hill. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> there you go. There's a pole bear. That's, he's chasing a salmon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I mean, he's in his white uniform. <laughs> Here's the 2-2 to Jose Iglesias. It's all. And that's called a strike three. Nine, 90 mile per hour pitch at uh, here. Let's see if it hit the corner. Oh, too close to take. What do you think? I mean, yeah, as my dad always says, too, too, too close to take. And then my sister always copies him. Too close to take. <laughs> Here's the OO to Alvarez, and he takes outside for ball one. Always good to listen to your parents. <clears throat> and your sister older or younger? Uh, she's younger. She's five years old. Oh, then, you know, you don't have to listen to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, I listen to my dad. And she thinks I'm listening to her. <laughs> and that's low the ball. Left fielder Tyro Taylor is on deck. Alvarez is 0 for 1 today. Here comes the 2-0 to Alvarez. It is Roger's 60th pitch. And that's just low for a ball. And that's a pitch that the home plate umpire, John Tom Payne. Tom Payne's been calling a strike. Yeah. And the inside pitch looked more like a ball than that. Here's the 3 0 pitch to Alvarez, and he takes a strike on the outside corner. Trevor Rogers, 61 pitches this whole game, and Alvarez is 0 for 1. 3 1 coming to Alvarez. Out, up, and in for ball 4, and the Mets have runners off the corners now. 2 away. Just was on the injury, but then McNeil started, and that was deep, 
Nice try there by Santander. That ball drifted foul territory. Started in fair territory, drifted, almost made a great catch against oh. the wall, but it hit him in the right hand. Another outfielder getting hit in the hand. Yeah, another one that he overran. Um, the McNeil walk off. And like, yeah, the yeah, Loriano one. And now this one. Yeah, they put the, that right fielder in center field the next day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they did? Yeah, they got him away from the line. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he doesn't like the line that much. <laughs> Here is the 0-1 to Tyro Taylor, who's 0-1 today. He lined out. Oh, and the way inside, that almost hit him. Alonso, Alonso at third, and uh, Alvarez is at first. Here comes the 1-1 one, one to Tyro Taylor, and it's Rogers' 65th pitch of the day. It is smacked through the hole of base hit. That was going Alonso, and Alvarez pulls in at second with an RBI single for Tyro Taylor. The Mets now lead 3-0 against the Baltimore Orioles in the fourth. And now uh, Harrison Bader will step up to the plate. Tyrell Taylor has done such a great job all season long, and here a big two out in. Yeah. Uh, kind of a hanging change of Kingston up in the strike zone. And he got one right down in the middle, and he crushed it through the hole. And here now is Harrison Bader, who's 0 for 1 today, and he flies that one foul. Rogers doesn't look like he does it look like he has more fuel? We'll see. It doesn't it doesn't really because he has sixty-six pitches is sixty-seventh coming to Harrison Bader. He's over for one today. With with the count oh one and he takes down low for ball. It's been a tough goal for Kingston since Rogers came over from Miami. He's given up now in seventeen and a third innings, two third innings, seventeen runs. And Bader flies that one foul off to the right side. Rogers, the 69th pitch coming to Harrison Bader. Today, it, the 1 2 upcoming. Here's the pitch. It is smashed. Kingston, that was fantastic. You did a great job. And I don't know how much you've practiced your play-by-play -play skills, but you were spot on. That was just wonderful. Kingston, good news and bad news here. This is the most enjoyable time I've ever had. That's the good news, bad news. Gelbs, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> great job. Way to go, buddy. Awesome. Nice job, Kingston. Fifth inning, three nothing New York. We have a breaking news bulletin. Kingston Nom Ram, uh, Nom Corn has been signed to a five-year contract. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> By SNY, they don't know what they're going to do with him, but they know he's going to be a star. Um, I think uh, I think I'm ready to retire tomorrow. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like when Fox signed Tom Brady when he was still playing. It's like I don't know how great he's going to be, but we don't want him to go somewhere else. That was uh, that was spectacular, I have to say. I mean, we've done this Kidcaster thing for a long time, uh, and nobody ever came more ready to roll than, than Kingston did. <laughs> 